alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty and today's video is going to be a vlog. A lot of you guys asked me to vlog and I don't do it as often as I probably should, mostly because I'm OCD about lighting and I love using a ring light. I don't like how the lighting changes when you vlog. When I'm inside, I literally move my ring light around my apartment and I kind of feel like that's cheating when it comes to vlogging. I'm just kind of doing whatever I feel like for right now and then later on tonight, I'm going to a Kaizo concert. Is that how you say it? Kaizo? Honestly, like I'm a fake fan. I don't even know who this DJ is. I'm just going. I'm actually going with some random girl I met on Instagram. I know that sounds weird, but like I don't have friends here because I just moved here So I have to make friends somehow. Hopefully it'll be a good time I'm gonna take you guys with me, but as for right now I wanted to show you these awesome swimsuits that were sent to me by up bra I will have the link below in the description and you can use my code to get $10 off They sent me a blue one and like a maroonish pinkish reddish one The girl was super excited to get this set to her because I'm going to Hawaii in like two months So I needed new bikinis and the up bra is notorious for like keeping your girls up without that support of strength so it does a really nice job with that and the reason for that is because right here You'll see this is the blue one which I'll show you guys next There are little straps that you can adjust to your liking So if you want more cleavage or less cleavage or just to keep them in place So I would highly recommend one of these and they come in different colors This is the same one in blue not gonna lie the red one probably fit me a little bit better because I did pick out two different sizes I would say this just goes to show that you can still wear strapless bikinis and feel supported like your top isn't gonna fall off It comes with these bottoms that match that are super silky. Thank you so much to Upra for sending me these bikinis I will have them linked below at the top of the description box along with my code to get you $10 off and let's continue on with this vlog I feel like this lighting actually sucks even with the ring light because of the lighting back there But anyways now I think I'm about to go over to Taco Bell because I'm really hungry And I don't have food in my house because I don't cook and I never go grocery shopping I have some pizza left over from last night I ordered a pizza get this forgot that I ordered it afterwards and then when the guy showed up I was like super scared because like someone was knocking on my door and it was like 9 at night And then I was like oh yeah I ordered a pizza that was basically you know how my night went last night. That's kind of what my night goes like a lot of the time I'm excited to actually be going out I moved to Chico which is like a huge huge party town and I've only been out like maybe twice since moving here And when I went out, I didn't even go that hard not saying I'm trying to go hard tonight But I'm just saying it's kind of like ironic that I moved all the way here for school and it's literally a party school Haven't partied and dropped out of school. I was actually really wanting to film ASMR today That was sort of what I planned to do this morning But what I didn't plan on which I wish I had footage of because I don't think they're out there anymore the gardeners Blowing freaking leaves on my front porch early this morning and all throughout the afternoon It's like 4 p.m. Now 4 30 or so next weekend not this weekend But next weekend I think I'm going to Brentwood to spend some time with my friends out there And then the weekend after that I'm going on a trip with my best friend Mala to Sacramento We're staying in an Airbnb for the weekend and then the weekend after that I'm going to Yosemite with my family So honestly, maybe I should vlog a little bit more I have a lot of things coming up I'm going to see Olivia after that and then I have playlist live and then I have like a month off and then I go to Hawaii And then I go to VidCon and then I go to Electric Forest. So I went to EDC last year and it was like the best experience ever besides the food poisoning. Other than that, it was like the best time and I really wanted to go this year and that was like kind of the plan. I have a ton of friends who are going. It would be super convenient. It would honestly be a lot less expensive than all the other festivals I'm planning on going to or am going to because it's closer. It just makes sense. Like I already know what to expect. I've been there before. I'm going to make a video talking about EDC and like what to expect and tips for people because I have a lot of advice to give actually. I have had this weird gut feeling for the past like six months that has prevented me from purchasing my ticket or flight or anything and just keeps telling me like not to actually go And it doesn't make any sense because I have nothing going on in May and I could easily go But I have a gut feeling saying it's a really bad idea and it makes me sad because like I said I want to go It's like really hard to explain. Ow, my hand freaking hurts from holding the camera. This is why I don't vlog I just have a sinking gut feeling that like I shouldn't go and I have a few things in mind that I think could be like Sort of causing that but they're all things that I would never like not go to a music festival for so it's not any of those reasons It's like something else so probably not gonna go but anyways we're gonna go to Taco Bell and just take a little adventure ride until we have the concert tonight once again I'm not kidding I leave my trash out here because I'm too lazy to walk it there so I have to drive it this the part proceed to the route I, I never listened but I didn't deserve it I was young and she was my first love so we say that you live and you I'm sorry that my vlogs are like pretty chit chatty. I'm assuming you guys kind of like that because it's kind of what my whole channel is. But I know that a lot of the time vlogs are people, you know, doing crazy stuff like being hooligans and like pranking people and that could be fun. I could do that. But honestly, I'm not much of a prankster because I can't lie to people. Like I would feel bad, like way too bad to actually be able to follow through with any sort of prank. Starting route to Taco Bell. Wait, it says I'm here. 
Oh my god, it's literally right there. That just explained my entire life. Can I please get to the Airheads Blue Raspberry? Um, like the the smoothie one? I'm sorry, our cruise machine currently isn't working still. Uh okay. Um, can I please get Crunch Wrap Supreme Loaded Potato Griller? Check out this shirt. It's a cat falling out of a pocket because the pocket's upside down. When I first got this, I thought they messed up on the shirt, but that's like actually intentional. This is my outfit. Pretty basic, just a black bodysuit. I have a fanny pack that I'm going to fill up with my wallet and phone and stuff eventually. A little bit of candy on. I'm about to spike this Dutch Bros with some tequila. Get drunk by myself. Uber there by myself. Hopefully find this girl who I met on Instagram that I've never met and then have an amazing time. I don't know if this is an event center, a bar, a club. Like I have no idea. So hopefully I'm dressed appropriately. This is similar to what the girl said that she was gonna wear and I didn't want to be too crazy So that's why like I look kind of basic in case it's like that scene in Mean Girls or in Legally Blonde where she shows up and nobody's dressed like that. So I tried to like be somewhat normal-ish, basic-ish. Obviously I wouldn't wear this like to school, but still it's not too scandalous. A few tequila shots later. BTW, I'm waiting until the last minute to put a shoe on this foot because I don't know if you guys knew, but I actually sprained my pinky toe and it still hurts really bad even though it's been like three weeks. I'm already a little bit tipsy. Like I said, I'm Ubering there by myself and I don't know what to expect. I don't know who's gonna be there. I really don't even know where the heck this is. So don't know if this is like a great idea or like a terrible idea, but we're gonna make it a great idea. Uh, right, great ideal. Great idea. Okay, bye. <laughs> I have about an hour before it starts. I don't know how far away it is, so I need to kind of like look that up so I know when to call my Uber and stuff. I'm gonna take some shots with you guys. This is disgusting in case any of you were wondering. I really don't wanna ruin this Dutch Bros. I kinda wanna get a different chaser. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go grab a different one. Let's drink some of this. No. Uh-uh, uh-uh, that was so gross. I think I've had enough. I don't know how many shots I've had, which is probably a good sign I should stop. Just so you guys know, I'm 21. I'm allowed to do this. No underage drinking. That's bad. In case you guys were wondering how I actually sprained this pinky toe, by the way, I did it from kicking a wall by accident. I actually ran into that corner and I stubbed it so hard by itself, my itty bitty pinky toe, that I thought I broke it. I had to go to the emergency, not the emergency room, urgent care, same thing, whatever. I had to go seek immediate medical attention and they did x-rays. It turned out just to be sprained. And so I've been wearing a boot and this is my first time wearing a real shoe. So I kind of need to be drunk to mask the pain. By the way, you guys, I'm actually doing a collective try on rave haul really, really soon. I'm working with iHeart Raves and a couple other companies and just stuff I already own. And these two bags are full of rave stuff. I have so many rave outfits. If you guys ever need me to hook you up with some stuff, let your girl know because it's one of those things I feel like once you wear it once to a rave and post pictures, you just don't do it again. Kind of like homecoming or prom. I'll bring this bandana. These are like my favorite thing ever at raves. I don't know if you guys can tell in here. Like, look how dope that looks. I don't know if there's gonna be lights and stuff here, but I'll bring them just in case. My Uber is almost here. Wish me luck. It's gonna be a fun night. I'm actually really, really excited, so bye. <laughs> So right now, this is like the opener's opener and this place looks pretty cool. I'm probably gonna come here a lot. I've been making friends like in the bathroom and stuff, just like talking to random people. Seriously, my first time here, this shit's crazy. I love you guys. If you guys hear 
hear some background noise, I'm really sorry. I do have the dryer going right now, doing some laundry, but I wanted to apologize because I have not vlogged since that last clip that you guys saw, and that was two days ago. This is why I don't typically vlog, because whenever I'm doing something, I'm busy, crazy stuff's happening, I just forget to pull out my camera. Basically, to recap my night, it was really crazy, and I had a lot of fun. I slept a ton the next day. I definitely want to do sort of like a rave story time soon, where I talk about different festival slash concert experiences, because there's a lot of crazy ones. Today, I've been back and forth emailing with the merch company that I'm releasing merch through in the next like week or so and we're finalizing all the designs and it's gonna be awesome I'm so excited if you guys do want to check out my merch it's not out yet by the time this vlog is out it may be out but like either way if you go to alliehardesty.shop you can put in your email so you'll be notified when it is released and when it's released I'm gonna wait until I can get them in person and then like show you guys in a video and post Instagram pictures so look out for that it's gonna be really fun really exciting and I have a lot of designs that I'm gonna post after the first couple are launched and yeah I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I want to go film some ASMR videos and get on with my day, film some regular main channel content. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up for more vlogs or if you guys like the stuff that I included in this vlog. Comment below letting me know what was your favorite part about everything I showed you guys. Subscribe for more videos. Also subscribe to my ASMR channel since I will be posting a lot more on there. Check out my Patreon for my private Snapchat, exclusive photo shoots, early videos, exclusive videos, and more. Follow my social medias and I will see you guys in the next video. Later all getters. Bye!